Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is how to work with SharePoint multi-value lookup field, choice field, and paper picker field from Power Automate. The way we used to create or update single value lookup, choice, or people picker fields from Power Automate is different when it comes to multi-value. So in today's video, we will see how we can work with them. I will directly jump to my Office 365. So here I have this list called child list. In this I have these columns country, city and user. So these are called special fields as well. This is my parent list. What I will do, I will create an item in this list. This will trickle my power automate flow. I will add these values in this list and my power automate should update the multi values in my child list special fields. Why I have created this parent list special fields because I do not want to hard code any value in my power automate. So just to have a trigger, I have created this list as well. Let's go to power automate. I am inside my solution. Here I will create one power automate and I will create a automated flow. Flow name, uh, let's say DS tech mirror multi value. And here I will use the trigger as I said when an item is created or modified in a SharePoint list. So I will use this. Let me select my SharePoint site URL which is POC site. Here it is. And list name I will select parent list special fields. So now this will work as my trigger. As a next step I have to create an item in my child list. So I will say create item. This is my create item. It is in the same site collection and list name is child list special fields. So first now I will show you if I go with the normal route how it will behave and what uh, other approach or alternative approach we have to follow to work with this multi value fields. So over here you can see country value. Now if I want to update it based on the value which I will create in this list. So what I can do over here, you can see switch to input entire array. So I will click on this. So what I will do, I will input the entire array, which will contain the multi values and it should update the uh, my child list. Same I will do with the other fields as well. So now if I go and select the dynamic value for this particular field, here you can see which is I am getting from my trigger. So I will say country, city and user. So for the very first time it will trigger us that this should work. So let me save this flow. Okay title is required so I will say test and I will save this. And now I will trigger my flow. To trigger my flow, I will create an item in my parent list special field. I will wait uh, for the save to get completed. This is done. Now here I'll go and I'll create one item. I'll say test one, country. I will select India, Australia, Japan, multi-value. City, I will select Chennai, Jaipur, Sydney, user I'll select test user 01 test user 02 and I will click on save okay so this is done now this will trigger my flow to check for that I will go back I will click on my flow and here my flow should trigger it will take some time my flow got triggered and the status is failed Let's go and see the error and this was expected. The input parameters of workflow operation create item that is this one of type open API connection is not valid. The API operation does not allow writing a value of parameter country. The parameter is read only. So it's not working the way we thought it should work. See what, what actually is happening. It is passing all the values in an, in an array, but still it's not working. So 
let's see uh, the workaround how it should work so what we will do we will take all the values from the parent list we will add into an array now according to this tool tip switch to input entire array so this will take the array so let's go ahead and create one array variable i'll say initialize variable type i will say array and i will say country and just for the uh, better typing conventions so i'll say vr country then i will create three variables again initialize next i will create we are city again it's an array variable and the last one we have people picker so i'll say initialize variable i'll say we are user again it would be array so i have created this three array for these three different fields city country and user and i will rename my actions as well initialize variable i'll say country so that even if this action is in collapse state i can uh, later on see which variable i am declaring uh, over here country city and user now i have to append values to these arrays which i will get from my parent list so what i will do after country array let me add an action and say append to array variable and it presents inside my append to string variable no i have to add append to array variable i have to delete it i'll go back over here i can see append to array variable now this is my variable name vr country and how i will get the value that i'll see over here what you will see now for country what i have to do i have to append this country value in this particular array how we will do that over here what i will do i will pass create one object this is my multi value field choice field and here to update it i will type value and in this value i will say country value and now you now you would have noticed automatically it has appended one loop on the top of it and what it will do this will create one array with my country values same i have to do for my other fields as well the only difference would be the object type how i will create for choice field i have to use value for lookup field i have to pass id and for people picker field i have to pass user claim so this is the difference and let's go ahead and create the other variables so let's go ahead and append value to this city array variable similarly i'll say append to array variable would be city so the only difference would be the object how i will create i'll say id because it's a lookup field so i will get city id so this uh, the dynamic values which get displayed over here will also give you some idea because when it comes to country you do not have any uh, country id value with only city you have city id and city value so i'll use this city id and now when it comes to user i will show you it will also give you a hint over there add an action append to array variable user and now and i will select this user field so you will see this user display name user claim so i will use this user claim so let me create the object and what i will do i'll say claims and 
I will say user claims. So now this is done. And to see if there is no error, I will save my flow, but uh, I can see some error. Enter a valid JSON. Okay. This is a very common error you will get. So the reason is I have forgot to add the quotes around this property name. So value, then I will append my dynamic value that is country value. And now see error got fixed and sometimes if you are facing uh, if you are doing exactly the same and you are still facing this JSON so you can use this JSON validator online and maybe you can try to eliminate the leading and trading spaces. Now I will do the same for other as well. ID I'll just click on save. Yes there is only one error now and I'll fix this as well claims now there should not be any error we are good with that now what I will do I'll go to this create item I'm already into the mode where I can input the entire array for country I will say we are country city I will say we are city and user you can say we are user click on save we are done now we will test it because now I'll select automatically with the recently used trigger which got failed and I'll say test flow is running and it is a success let's go to this child list and it got updated so guys this is how you can update your multi-value special fields in SharePoint using Power Automate I will quickly walk through this uh, Power Automate what I have done I created this one trigger so then I have created three variables for my three fields in SharePoint one is the country which is a multi value choice field for that in the how you will do the append to array variable the trick is you would be using this value property for city field which is a lookup field you would be using id property in your json object which you would use to append to array variable and for your people picker field in my case the people picker field name is the user field you have to use this claim property so once you are done with this you can simply use this action called create item switch to input entire array mode and just pass your variables and you should be good with that so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos if you have any doubts you can reach out to me through comments or through our official email id you can also follow me on twitter to get updates from the office 365 world that's it much love, keep learning, thank you.